the three nodes of electrical circuits. Check the link in the comment section and install the app for free. Superposition theorem. Question: Find current through eight ohm resistance. Here in this circuit, we have to find the current through this eight ohm resistance by using superposition theorem. Solution: First of all, here we can see there are two sources. This is a voltage source and this is also a voltage source. So first of all, we will consider this 20 volt voltage source and we will find the value of I prime. Then we will consider this voltage source and we will find the value of I double prime. And after that, we will see the direction of current and according to we will do the mathematics. So consider. 20 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources all other sources now when we turn off the voltage source so this will be a short circuit and this current will be I prime. Now to find the value of this I prime, we need to find the value of this current. Let's say this is current, total current I. Now here we can see this 10 ohm and this 8 ohm are connected in parallel. So we can write, we will copy this. And here we can write 8 ohm parallel with 10 ohm. So this will be 8 into 10 divided by 8 plus 10 if we solve this so we get 8 into 10 divided by 8 plus 10 so it is 4.4 4.4 ohm now we will replace these two registers with a single register of 4.4 ohm Four point four ohm. Now we can easily find the value of current I. So I is equal to V upon R. The value of voltage is twenty, and the value of resistance is six plus four point four. So this will be twenty divided by six plus four point four. So it is one point nine two three one point. 923 ampere is the value of current I but we have to find the value of this I prime so again let's copy this circuit from here and now we will apply current division rule apply current division rule apply current division rule so this will be I prime is equal to this current current value is 1.923 1.923 multiplied by opposite branch resistance or parallel branch resistance the parallel branch to this is 10 ohm so 10 ohm divided by 10 plus 8 if we solve this so we get i prime is equal to 1.923 multiplied by 10 divided by 10 plus 8 so it is 1.06 1.06 ampere is the value of I prime and this direction is downward so here we will give arrow downward now next we have to find by using this voltage source by considering 12 volt voltage source so again let's copy this circuit from here and consider 12 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources all other sources 
now when we turn off all other sources that means we are turning off this 20 volt voltage source so again when we turn off a voltage source that time it will be short circuited and now this time this current will be i double prime and let's say this current is i1 let's say now here we can see this 6 ohm and 8 ohm are connected in parallel so we can solve 8 ohm or 6 ohm parallel with 8 ohm so this will be 6 into 8 divided by 6 plus 8 6 into 8 divided by 6 plus 8 so it is 3.42 3.42 ohm is the value of resistance again we will replace these two resistances with a single resistance of 3.42 we will remove this current and this resistance value will be changed so it will be of 3.42 ohm now we can easily find the value of this current i1 so i1 is equal to voltage that is 12 divided by resistance 10 plus 10 plus 3.42 so therefore current i1 is equal to 12 divided by 10 plus 3.42 so it is 0 0.894 0 0.894 ampere is the value of current I1 but we have to find the value of I double prime so again let's copy this circuit from here and let's apply current division rule so apply current division rule now according to current division rule i double prime will be equal to this current i1 so i1 value is 0 0.894 multiplied by parallel branch resistance the parallel branch is 6 ohm divided by 6 plus 8 so it will be 0 0.894 multiplied by 6 divided by 6 plus 8 so it is 0 0.383 0 0.383 ampere is the value of i double prime again here we here we can see the current is downward so we will give the direction of this i double prime as downward now here we can see the direction of current I prime is also downward and the direction of I double prime is also downward. So the resultant current of I 8 ohm will be I prime plus I double prime since the direction is same so that's why we are adding them. So now let's add them the value of I prime is 1.06 so 1.06 plus 0 0.383 so therefore i8 ohm is equal to 1.06 plus answer so it is 1.443 1.443 ampere is the value of i8 ohm so this is how we can find the current by using superposition theorem check the link in the comment section and install the app for free to get the notes of electrical circuits. Thanks for watching.